I get comments a lot about how people don't understand how I do it all, or I get the title of Superwoman, or um, I think Wonder Woman might have been one of them. I'm not real sure, but um, first, thank you for those comments. Um, I know they're not in a bad way. I know they're more of in a compliment form, but I do also want to be careful um, that people who are, you know, from the outside looking in and seeing what I'm doing, and if they're thinking those things as well, I don't want that perception of what I'm doing or who I am to make them feel like they're failures if they try to do some of these things that they see me doing or that they're not cut out for it because maybe in their mind they're not doing it as well as I do it. And I just want to say that when I first started out doing all of what I do, I failed at every single part of it. And I failed at every single part of it multiple times. And so it does take, you know, to perfect anything, and I'm definitely still not perfect at anything that I do. I still fail. I mean, I've been doing this for years and I still fail every day, basically. And, um, but to get better, you have to just keep going. You have to just keep trying. And doing it at the scale that I'm doing it now, I mean, I didn't, in the beginning, I didn't start out you know, okay, I'm cooking everything that we eat from scratch. That is not at all how I started out. And if I did try to start out that way, I definitely would have um, gotten burnt out. I, um, you know, I would have ended up letting myself down because it's not something I was used to doing. And over the years, you know, I did a video and it, I think it's nine years ago now is when I really started doing a lot of this. And over the years, I mean, I'm still slowly learning different things I can make from scratch. Like this coming garden season, I'm growing different types of tomatoes that I haven't grown before, but I'm growing them because I really want to try to make some homemade barbecue sauce. I've never done that before. And, but that, that's how it is. Like you start with one thing and you gradually move and add different things. When, once you start one thing and you feel comfortable with that and you're real confident on doing that, then add another thing to it. And then once you have both of those and you're comfortable and confident with both of those and you, you feel like you can handle it, then add another thing. If you jump in all at one time, and if you feel like you can jump in all at one time, go for it. I'm not going to tell anybody that they have to do baby steps if they truly feel like they can do more than that. Like, go for it, try it. But if you do get overwhelmed, if you do get burnt out, if you do get discouraged, then back up a little bit. Re-evaluate the situation. Re-evaluate how things are working out for you. And take some things off of your list and focus on the things that are still on your list. Once you perfect those things, then slowly add a little bit more. Um, you know, if, if you try it one day and you're like, okay, you know, she, not just me, but you're watching anybody and you're like, okay, well, you know, they can make bread or they can make pasta, which I still have not made my own pasta, by the way. Um, you know, they can make pasta, they can make bagels, they can make, um, Oh, I don't know, pizza sauce, they can make uh, mayonnaise, they can make barbecue sauce, which I mentioned I'm, I'm wanting to try for the first time this year. It's okay if you can't. It's okay if you go to try it and you don't like how it came out. It's okay if you go to try it and you're like, oh my gosh, that just took so long in the kitchen. It's okay to go through those things. And just because you go through that and you feel that way, that does not mean give up. That does not mean you're, mo you're not cut out for that. That does not mean you weren't made to do that. If that is something you truly want to do, if that is something that's truly in your heart, you are made to do it. Everybody is made to do it. Um, our society right now has is designed in a way that makes it very difficult for us to do it, but we are all created to do this. That is my personal belief. Um, so if you do start feeling discouraged or burnt out, or like it took forever, the first few times of doing something, it is gonna feel like it takes forever. Just because you're learning that skill, you're learning something new. And so you are being a little more careful, you are being a little more precise. 
and it's new to you so it is going to take a little bit more time but the more you practice it the more you do it it becomes second nature and you can whip some bread up in a whim you know you can have absolutely zero idea what you're going to have for lunch or dinner or whatever meal it is and you can just go look in your pantry or your freezer and just come up with something in a second and you know it it took me like i still struggle with what we're going to do for dinner mainly because i have picky kids and you know things that i really want to eat i'm like oh they're not going to eat it and i refuse to make two separate meals i refuse so but there are times that like i'm still you know oh i don't know what to make for dinner i don't know what i can you know get scrape around and and put together but there are also times that i'm like hey i have no idea i just go look in the refrigerator something i see odds and ends of different things and i can put it together and years ago like i would even say four or five years ago i would never be able to do that so it's taken practice it's taken years um cooking from scratch is definitely where i started i did not go garden chickens homeschool cooking from scratch all at one time not at all i would have Oh, I don't, that, that would have really been overwhelming. There's no way I could have done it. Um, so I did start cooking from scratch first. And then uh, since my kids were little, we weren't homeschooling yet, I did start a garden. I mean, like very small. Over the years, our garden has grown. We have expanded more and more and more. Each year, we add something different. And so it's not like I had the size garden that I have all at one time. If I did, oh, that would have been crazy. And then I did start my first garden. I did go and buy plants. We have a local nursery that I absolutely love. And I did go and buy the plants. And the next year, I kind of piddled around with seed starting. And I killed almost everything. I mean, you know, a, a fail, like a complete fail. But I kind of reached into my fight mode. You know, I'm, I can be stubborn. I can have a fight fighting streak to me. And um, you know, I kind of reached in on that and I, I started more seed. You know, I learned about the fall garden. You don't have to start a garden just in spring. I mean, fall garden is absolutely fantastic. And I love my fall garden. And so that fall I started seeds and guess what? I did way, way, way better. I probably still killed about 50%, but it was way better than a hundred percent. So if you fail, it's okay because that's that's part of learning like all of us in anything we do fail in one way or another to help us grow and to help us learn and so if you fail don't throw your hands up and say I can't do this this isn't for me I'm not cut out for this just try again and if you fail like four five six times it's still okay please try again if you really want to do this please try again because you are going to make it. You are going to get the hang of it. And what works for one person might not necessarily work for you. I garden way different than some people I know down the road. Um, you know, I make bread different than like, you know, I've only watched a hundred videos on it and I still keep my starter different with the sourdough bread. I still make my bread different. Um, you know, and so just, you know, ask questions, learn from people where you can, watch people if you can, and kind of get the information that you're able to find, but you also need to go and practice it and just try it. And remember that it's okay to fail. Remember that I am not superwoman and I cannot get it all done. I, I mean, I am a checklist person. I have checklists every week and I get hardly any of it done every week. I mean, really hardly any of it done every week. And so things get pushed back and pushed back week to week to week. Um, but you know, that's just how it goes. And another thing with where I am right now, I'm having to teach myself and learn that everything happens in seasons. And so, I mean, yes, you know, spring, summer, fall, winter, but I'm talking like our warmer weather, which where we live, we're warm most of the year, but our warmer weather, you know, the kids and I, we're just outside almost all the time. We do take a break, you know, it's like an hour or two for us to do school. And we're doing school four days a week. Um, but, you know, we'll take a break and we'll go inside. And especially in the summer, the heat of the day, we will go inside. That's when we'll do our schoolwork. But, you know, mornings especially, we, we're outside. Our My attention has to be outside with the animals in the garden. And then, you know, you have stuff growing. You have to bring it in and preserve it or um, cook it, whatever you want to do with it. And so warmer weather... 
the inside stuff, the organization, the keeping things clean, the really a lot of the cooking. Like right now, a lot of my videos are in the kitchen. Well, with it getting warmer and spring's coming, that's about to change because I am not going to be in the kitchen that much. We really do. We, I fall behind on keeping snacks up. I fall behind on that. That's really like our when it's garden season. That's when a lot of my meals are like, oh, I don't know what it is. Let's go see what's inside, you know, and I try to just kind of make stuff up. Um, but yeah, so, you know, summer months, definitely outside more. And so, um, you know, our meals are a little leaner. The house doesn't stay as clean as I like to like it. The organization just, you know, really goes downhill. And so where I am right now, since we are a little cooler, we're in the middle of a fall spring, which is a teaser for me but it also gets me even more excited and anxious for spring um but where we are right now we, i mean we're we're about to freeze like tomorrow we're going to be freezing again right now we're 72 for the high and then um tomorrow night we're going to go back down and absolutely freeze but what with it colder we're not outside quite as much that's a season for me where i get to slow down i do spend more time in the kitchen I do get to detail clean the house, which is why this video has me cleaning because I get my baseboards done, I get my ceiling fans done, I get to organize the cabinets, I get to organize the pantry, I get to organize the closets, like just kind of declutter and clean out. It's kind of like resetting the house for spring. And I do try to do this twice a year, so spring and fall, I do try to do it, but usually right before spring is when, is for sure when I'm going to accomplish it. Before fall, it's iffy because there's just a lot going on around that time. But right before spring is when I do usually get to accomplish this. And this is my cleaning season. This is my declutter sleep season. This is my organization season. And if I try to do those things in the middle of summer when it's hot, I'm trying to keep the garden alive. I got to take care of the chickens. I, um, you know, I have the kids with homeschool trying to cook. And if I'm trying to do it all and keep the house clean and try to keep it decluttered i mean not that the house gets super dirty i do maintain it but i'm talking like deep clean like i'm not able to deep clean every week or every month during um that season the garden season because we're just outside so much and um yeah if, if i tried to do it it would just it would be too much on me and so i've had to learn that different things that i do come with different seasons and there's a busy season which we're about to embark on and there is a season that's a little more I say for rest but it is catching up on things that I don't get done in the busy season and um, you know it's okay to have that you're not going to accomplish everything all the time every day every week every month and it's okay to have that you just need to pick what's important um, what's important at that moment maybe what's important at that season and uh, make sure you accomplish that and everything else is just gonna, it's gonna have to wait until you can get to it. So try not to overwhelm yourself. Try not to put yourself down thinking that you're not, um, you know, as perfect or, um, you know, can't accomplish everything that you see all these people do on the videos. Cause I mean, my videos, it's usually a few days put together. It's not all in one day. And, um, I definitely don't get it all done and I can promise you all those other people don't get it all done either even if they're telling you that they do and everything's so perfect I can promise you it's not so please don't get sucked up in that and don't get discouraged and if you do feel overwhelmed if you do feel completely worn out back up uh, reassess the situation pick just a few things that you want to perfect and slowly add to yourself please do not try to jump in and do it all at one time um, because that's when you can get major burnout.